Welcome back to the Pantheon Web Ops Certification Video Training Series. I'm your host, Steve Bresnick. In this video, I'll walk you through the dashboard features that help development teams collaborate most closely with marketing teams. These features include the code commit log, updates area, Git and SFTP development modes, the security feature that lets you lock your environment with a username and password, and the other convenient hot buttons at the top of each environment dashboard. Let's begin. We start out in the dev environment of our site dashboard, which makes sense because the dev environment is where all code commits happen. When you commit a code change to your master branch on your local machine, it directly affects the version of your site contained in the dev environment. In our code tab over here, if we scroll down, you can see a commit log showing an at-a-glance list of each commit that is made to your site. If we click on the see diff button, you can see all of the things that have been added in green and anything that's been removed will show up in red. If you're a marketing leader working in conjunction with a developer or a team of developers, this gives you a view into the activity of your team and shortens that feedback loop between the marketing team and the development team. Moving up to the updates area, this is where you're able to see when updates to your WordPress core or Drupal core have been released and are available for your site. If I click this check now button, it will check to see if there are any updates available. WordPress comes out with three to four core updates a year, plus minor automated releases for security patches and minor bug fixes. Drupal updates core with minor releases approximately every six months. Keeping up with these updates is critical to the security of your code base, as well as keeping your site up to date with the latest available functionality. Community updates are a big reason why we love open source. Pantheon makes it easy to keep your site up to date by maintaining Drupal and WordPress core upstreams that serve as the basis for each site on the Pantheon platform. This means that when new updates are released in the community, you'll see them right here in the dashboard, and you can apply them to your site with the simple click of a button. This area is also where you will see updates to sites that use custom upstreams, which are central code bases or distributions that can be used on Pantheon to easily manage portfolios of sites. We'll cover custom upstreams in a future video. And in this developer mode box, you can see that we have the option to toggle between Git and SFTP mode. If we click this SFTP button, you can see how we can toggle between the two. Many WordPress developers specifically are used to being able to use FTP or SFTP to quickly push changes to your code and files, and Pantheon gives you that ability. The use of SFTP doesn't seem to be quite as popular in the Drupal community, but it's still a nice option to have. SFTP development provides advantages when working with Git or local development is not the best option for your team. It's especially useful when a remote collaborator or client needs to see changes immediately or when a platform specific problem requires debugging. One important thing to keep in mind is that you will be required to commit any updates you have made prior to pushing your code changes from dev to test or live. This includes updates made via SFTP. So if you do use SFTP mode, you will need to first commit your changes, then toggle back to Git mode before deploying changes to test or live. Switching back to SFTP mode, You can see right in the dashboard that connecting to your favorite SFTP client is easy, and Pantheon provides all of the information you will need in this dropdown. You'll notice that there is no password provided here, and that's because SFTP uses an SSH key to authenticate. 
We'll cover more about SSH keys in a future video. Speaking of connection info, if we click on this connection info button, you can see other important information you will need to connect to your database and Git code server right in the dashboard. If you ever need to interact directly with the database powering your Pantheon site, this is the place you go to get the connection information you need. And there are a few other important buttons here at the top of your Dev Environment tab. Moving from left to right on your screen, clicking on this Visit Development Site button will open the home page of your site. And clicking on the Site Admin button will open your administrative CMS dashboard in a new tab and log you into the site as an admin, which is very convenient. The Public button here allows you to lock this environment and require a username and password to access the site URL for this environment. This functionality is also available in the Security tab over here on the left side. Locking non-production environments can be especially useful for development teams who need to get sign-off from various stakeholders when code changes are made, and they want the changes to only be viewable by select individuals who have access to username and password. This is a great way to shorten that feedback loop between developers and marketing leaders. As a developer, you can just send along the platform domain right over here, and the username and password via email to your marketing stakeholders, who will be able to access a live preview of your progress, not just flat prototypes. We already talked about the connection info button, and clicking this last button here will remove all pages from cache at once. While this is sometimes necessary for development and troubleshooting, Keep in mind that clearing cache on your production site in the live environment can temporarily have a negative impact on your site's performance. In the first part of this dashboard tour, we've explored some of the developer tools that allow marketing teams to collaborate closely with developer teams. In the next video, we'll explore more features in the dashboard, focusing on some of the essential tools that developers will use on a day-to-day -day basis while developing their site on Pantheon. See you in the next video.